Hello YouTube, in this quick video I'm going to test the brand new RTX 4070 Super in some Blender rendering. The model I have is the one on the screen, it's the Asus Dual OC. At the end of the video we'll compare the results from the tests to the 4070 to see what the difference is. So stick around for that. If you find this helpful or interesting consider liking and subscribing so I can do more of these in the future. Thanks. Got the 4070 Super installed on the test bench. You can see I moved the 3090s out of the way. Still going to do an NVLink test on that here soon, but uh, let's test this new 4070 Super in some Blender rendering. Okay, so we're going to start off with the classroom scene. I'm going to render this. This one's a relatively quick test, and this one comes in at just under 16.6 seconds. So the 4070 Super and the 4070 tie in the classroom scene. I won't show that again in this video later, so just know that they're a tie. I will log that on my results tab here and my spreadsheet, and then we'll move on to the barbershop scene next. The barbershop scene is definitely a little bit heavier, but I'll speed the video up so we don't have to sit and watch it. So we'll get the frame 100 pulled up, which is the one that I always run. I don't think they're very different, but then it's consistent. And you can see that the 4070 Super is set up to run on optics. And I will render the image. So this is sped up quite a bit, but it'll burn through it really fast here for us. And this one comes in at 54 seconds. So I'm going to take that back to the spreadsheet now. Plug in 54 seconds. Again, we'll compare all these to the 4070 at the end. The next scene is the Lone Monk scene, which is by far the heaviest out of the tests that I normally run. I'll make sure that GPU compute is selected. And I'll show that the 4070 Super is enabled for optics rendering and will render the image. This one is significantly harder to run than the other tests, so um, it takes a couple minutes. But as you can see, the 4070 Super runs this one in about 2 minutes and 28 seconds. So I'll add that to my data. And we'll finally, we'll move on to the Scanlan scene which is the Blender 3.3 splash, uh, splash screen. And we'll hit render. And you could see that I stopped the render once and restarted it because the loading time took a little bit of extra time and I don't want to include that in the results. And this one's about done. So the scan land scene ran in about 32 seconds. So we'll plug that in. So now I'm just going to highlight the 4070 and the 4070 Super results so we can compare them. If at any point you want to just see the numbers, you can obviously pause this and look around my spreadsheet. But we'll compare the percentages here. So for the barbershop scene, um, the 4070 is about 22% slower than the 4070 Super. And then I'll copy the data from the other two heavier tests to the same page. So the Lone Monk scene, um, a very similar result. The 4070 is 22.3% slower. And in the Scanland scene, the 4070 is 28.13% slower than the 4070 Super. So I'll average those and it looks like the 4070 is about uh, right around 24% slower or it takes that much longer per frame than the 4070 Super. And keep in mind that in the classroom scene, the 4070 and the 4070 Super tied, so I'm not covering that more. That's it for this one. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you on the next one.